It's Blaze, come out! Come out with your hands up! Come out with your hands up! Hands up! Hands up! Let me see your hands! 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 Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hi everyone, Donut here. I might sound a little different because I'm f***ing sick again. At first, I thought it was because someone gave me the coup or the flu or something when we went to those four completely sold out unsubscribe podcast shows with you amazing people watching them. We did a meet and greet and met like 150 people at each show. And then a couple days after getting home from that, we had the biggest range day of all time. But no, it was not the coup or the flu that f***ed me up. It was tree cum. I didn't realize all the cedar here in Texas just dropped and I didn't know I was so f***ing successful to tree gems. Those damn trees gave me such a big facial that it gave me a sinus infection and f***ed my whole body up. Anyways, today we're going to be talking about one man who thought he could take on an entire SWAT team. That's never a good idea. And especially not where this shooting is located. That's Florida. So he was taking on a team full of Florida mans. This no ah. looks like something out of an action movie. It's one of the most action-packed shootings I've ever broken down. Speaking of Florida, if you take your kids to Disney World, you're going to spend a bunch of money and you're going to be in a lot of debt. That's why our sponsor for this video is PDS Debt. The economy is in shambles. Milk is expensive. Gas is expensive. Everything is ah. expensive, which means you may be in debt. But I have a solution if you are in debt. Whether it be credit cards, personal loans, medical bills, or even things in collection, PDS Debt has got a solution for you. If you're making payments every month and your balance is not going down, listen here. PDS Debt provides options that consolidate all of your debt into one low monthly payment. Everyone with $10,000 or more in eligible debt qualifies, and there's no minimum credit score. Bad or fair credit is accepted. PDS Debt cares about getting you out of debt. They're a top-rated company on Google and have an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. If you feel like you're trying to swim with a f***ing cinder block attached to your back when it comes to your debt, you probably should check them out. And right now, they're offering free debt analysis. It only takes about 30 seconds. Head on over to pdsdebt.com slash donut to get your free debt analysis today. Take all that ah. you owe money on, put it into one small monthly payment. That's pdsdebt.com slash donut. Current location, Diet Miami, which is Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Thursday, March 21st, 2024, 7.37 a.m. Holiday Inn Express at 1500 Southeast 17th Street. 911 operators receive a text from the phone and the address of the Holiday Inn that only says murder. The operator on the other side of the phone says, well, what the f*** is happening? What are you talking about? The person who texted murder did not answer the question at all. Was someone murdered? Was someone injured? Does EMS need to be there? This is a mystery. Another text at 7.59 a.m. said, murder, she dead. Some fine Florida public school grammar for you right there. The 911 operator did actually get the caller on the other end of the phone to have a conversation. The department hasn't released the 911 call to the public yet, but we do have footage of the operator relaying what she's hearing back to the police. Number of incident call stating he has guns and will start shooting at whoever is at his front door and also rambling stating his life is being raped. It's going to be the Holiday Inn Express and call his state to see the therapist and no additional. He's stating he has fully automated and three handguns with him and he will shoot and state to hear his wife struggling. She's being raped. 314 caller stating he is not afraid to kill anyone. And just seeing it's 14 caller stating he sees the door moving now and is about to shoot. Stating if he sees the door move, he will shoot. Caller is speaking with someone in the background and is also rambling for the call taker who is still landline. Caller states he has a 9mm in his hand and another on the bed. There's a lot of information here, so let's break down what you said real quick. There is a man in a hotel room claiming he has an automatic what? A fully automatic weapon. So not only is there an armed and dangerous man in a hotel room, he's inferring he has killed or severely wounded someone in there and if anyone tries to enter he's going to kill them as well also he mentions he can hear his wife being r-worded yeah like anyone would want to r her which add to its own level of concerns for these officers now it kind of sounds <coughs> <coughs> trees. Now it kind of sounds like a domestic where someone's already shot, quite possibly murdered. That's a hot call, boys. The caller also said to be talking to someone else in the room and rambling to himself, so officers responding now have another level of concern for anyone who might be in there with him. If he's rambling and he's Florida man, then there's probably meth involved. Or some of that synthetic ah. shit that makes you eat people's faces. That's happened twice in Florida now. At 8.40 a.m., the officers go to the sixth floor and stage outside of the room with assess the where the suspect is inside to try and negotiate with them. It's please come out, come out with your hands up. Come out with your hands up. Hands up, hands up, hands up. Let me see your hands. As you can see, the officers announced themselves, but at the same time, they sneakily opened the door. Second master. 
Once the door is open, we can finally see who we're dealing with. This man who looks like a thumb. 46 year old Carl Shalodinsky. Shalodinsky. How the fuck do we pronounce that? It looks like there aren't many great matches for your search. All right, that was a lot of good help. I don't know how to say this guy's name. Neither does Google. But I do know he has an entire history of being plain swamp crazy. This thumb has a long criminal history of drug abuse, protection orders filed against him and severe mental illness. No surprises here, judging from the text messages and the conversation we heard before. After officers make contact with the suspect at the door, this happens. Let me see your hands! Let me see your hands! As you can see, the suspect opens the door and he's got his phone in one hand and a gun in the other and he points it at the officer, which causes him to fire. After the initial exchange, the door is shut and the suspect continues to shoot through the door at the cops. That's when all hell breaks loose. With everything going on, did you see that speed reload? Old John Wick in the hallway right there. Someone trains. At this point, the officers are ordered to pull back. They need to make entry back into the hotel room, and they do where they find the suspect is dead. Luckily, he was alone in the hotel room. But where are the murders? Now, if we take a closer look at the footage, we can see that the lead officer had a clear view of the guy where he was pointing a gun right at him. What we didn't see is that lead officer got hit by one of the suspect's bullets when he was firing through the door right in the center of the plate carrier. There was a little bit of divine intervention going on right there, just like in Pulp Fiction. <laughs> Thank God that officer had that flashlight and a nice little plate behind it. I'm good, I caught the plate. Uh. The officer who was hit was checked out by medical staff and released soon after without any injuries. I'm buying me one of those flashlights. In the end, all three of the officers who opened fire were placed on administrative leave. They got a little vacation there. Nice. It was a pretty simple one. We had a barricaded suspect and we thought there was someone murdered or killed inside. We thought there were the R words going on in there. Nope, it was just a crazy dude with a gun who was willing to kill anyone who went through that door. But what do you think about this? Did the officers communicate enough to de-escalate this situation? Should they have attempted more communication? Or do you think speed, surprise, and violence of action worked pretty well in this situation? Let me know in the comments below. I will be reading every single one of them. <coughs> 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 trees can suck this. Thank you to everyone who came out to the unsubscribed live shows that we had in Austin, Dallas, and Houston, and San Antonio. We'll be doing some more in the fall if you want to hit that up. Dates will be out sometime within the next couple months. If you want to help support the channel, I finally got a new shirt. The left lane is for crime. Get the f*** out of it. Get that over at Bunker Branding or go over to DonutOperator.com to follow me on any other platform. That's all I have for you fine people today, and until next time, have a fantastic day. Whack.